What were the breakdowns you saw tonight? Oh, uh, it's just weak side. You know, they got some early easy looks early on, so some of us chasing all night from my perspective, but I watch film and see kind of, you know, exactly what we're doing. We had some person we defended well, and then we had some of them. Late in the game, when the looked like fans were talking to you, you were talking back to them. Can you explain what yeah, you were you hearing know, and what happened? From here, I mean, you know, it's unfortunate. You know, fans think they can say whatever they want. You know, I'm not going to say it now because it's not appropriate, but um, I'm just protecting myself. Um, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Too much else I can explain on that, but it's just unfortunate fans think they can get away with saying anything, and I won't. Personally, I won't allow it. I've took a lot of, you know, people saying anything and, you know, getting away with it, but. Um, I won't stand for it. What perspective do you have that this has happened already for over the years? I don't know. I think, you know, I mean, a lot of it is, um, you know, people know, and it's unfortunately very protected. Protected. Um, I just really hope whatever, whatever rules are in place, you know, it takes a while for the weather security of the arenas or whatever that may be to go and tell fans to get out but you know fans kind of have the right of way to kind of say whatever they want uh, but like I told you any disrespect to me my family I won't allow it. What do you think of the security response and does the NBA need to change some rules here to prevent these situations? I don't know I'm not a, I'm not sure but I, I just was only the I would ask is just um, I understand fans are ha enjoying the game and you know uh, feeling you know, up to whatever that may be. I guess they feel they can kind of say whatever, but um, this is our job. This is something that we go out and compete to do, um, enjoy the game. But all the negativity, the negative comments about family and due to that nature, um, I would kind of stay away from. But anything else, kind of can, can kind of say what they want. But for me personally, um, like I said, I'm just you know trying to go out and compete and play hard as I can. And, Anything as pertains to my family or myself, um, I won't say for it. Did they specifically say something about your family? I'm not going to speak on it, like I said, because that's not appropriate. <coughs> but like I said, if I'm responding, it's the reason I'm responding. Um, and I will protect that always. I mean, it's a little different now. And I tell people, man, like uh, when I was first starting the league, I, maybe not so much. I used to get into it a little bit, but now having kids and understanding how important it is, not just myself, but my last name, understanding what Westbrook means, understanding what how important that is to, you know, my dad, my grandfather, my family. It's very important. It's a, something I stand on, and the respect is a big thing that's that I value. Um, so the moment that line gets crossed, I won't allow no more. I, I stood for it for years, and now oh my. My son is old enough to know what's going on and understanding, hey, you know, asking me, hey, dad, what does that mean? You know, what's that? Now I gotta, now I gotta stand on it and regardless of where I'm at, what's going on, I'm always standing on that. All right, any basketball questions? <laughs> you guys, when you guys came in here winning for your last five, it seemed like things were getting more comfortable with you guys understanding the rotation. <clears throat> what's this tell you about how much more there is to go? Like I said, I think I said the other day, it's, it's gonna be a process always. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be times where things go well. Start off slow today. Um, and just couldn't keep it going, but it's part of the season. Got to turn the page. Got two big road games coming up. And take your business. Russ, PG said that you're starting to look more comfortable now in this new role. Do you think people kind of underrate how much of a change it is to go from starting to off the bench and maybe how long that process might take? Yeah, um, but you know, I'm not one to make excuses. I just try to figure out, you know. Um, Somebody that's been in the league a long time, I've been able to try to adjust and do different things and for different teams and always I will figure it out. I'll just stay uh, prayerful and keep my faith and understanding my value, what I bring to the team. And every time I step on the floor, I'll give everything I have and um, you know, hopefully that's good enough. Thank you guys, thank you. Thanks, Russ. Thank you. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.